Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be touring my island Delfino and I will uh, share the dream address for y'all on the screen. Um, as you can probably tell from the title, I am touring my island because I am remodeling it and changing it to be a Ma Super Mario Sunshine Delfino inspired rather than what I have right now. So let's go ahead and check out the map real quick. And that's my house right there. Then I have June, Tipper, Dizzy, Bones, Diana, Vic, Chelsea, Lucky, Tia, and then Renee. And then, yeah, my map is very uh, blocky, I would say. Um, my island is very simple and it, it's not very flashy, I don't think, but you guys might disagree with me. Uh, so here I have my airport. I have a green airport and here is my flag. If any of y'all know where this is from, like from what movie, please comment down below. I would love to see if you guys know. Um, but here is the entrance and I put the shops here um, because I do a lot of exchanging on Nookazon. So I wanted it to be accessible for people whenever they come in. Um, but if I keep moving back here, we're gonna see a restaurant, um, an Italian restaurant because that's my favorite food. I love Italian food, so I just decided to put one here in my island. And then down here we have my waiting area. It is sort of like another airport if you will like a little gift shop area down there and i have my mailbox there too but let's move on to this area right here and i have some uh bird scooters <laughs> um that my i guess my villagers can rent out <laughs> but here we have the music shop that i do have a video on so i will be linking that at the top but one thing I'm very proud of is the DIY table that I have back here that is hidden and it's in the middle of the town making it very convenient. But if you move over here, we have my rose garden which took me a while to complete because of all of the cold roses and those blue roses right there. This is one of my favorite parts of the island. Um, and yeah, and a little side note, I know you guys saw a little bit of the beach. All of my beaches are full of flowers and a little bit of clutter. I only have a couple areas decorated from uh, for the beach, but reason they are full of flowers is so I can store flowers for when I remodel the island. But anyway, uh, here I have a brunch area which I found very adequate for after you go to the museum. And then over here is my painting area, which is my absolute favorite part of the island. I find it very relaxing and it's a beautiful spot to stargaze. It's actually very clear in that area. If we go over here, we have this pink flower garden uh, leading up to a bakery or candy store. Um, I have a vending machine, cake, pastries, and the ice cone uh, maker as well as the uh, frozen treats. And have those, I have a lot of mermaid stuff over here as well. And that pipe leads up to the other end of the island which I'll make sure to show you guys where it leads. And then here we have my lighthouse and let me turn it on. Oh, no, I can't turn it on. Um, I thought I could because it's a light. It would make sense. I guess that's automatic. Uh, over here, it is my pottery area. We got a clay furnace and then we have that oven which i like to think it's a kiln and yeah here we can make some pots and trays and stuff 
but um, let's go back where we came so that we don't spoil the entrance of the neighborhood. Um, we'll go to this stair over here and I love this area, but this you can come over here and it will go to that area as well. So let's go back um, and see it. I love this area right here. Like I said, um, I don't know why. It's just everything feels decorated surrounding it. So it's just probably one of my favorite spots as well. That picnic over there. You can have a picnic and read a book. and It leads to the dog park right here. And I know it's kind of weird to have a dog park since there are dog villagers and I have a dog villager here, but um, I thought, why not? It was just to fill up the space. But here we have what leads to the neighborhood. And I wanted to show you guys how it connects also from the uh, city hall or town hall or resident services. <laughs> Um, but yeah, here's the neighborhood. It is three stories and on the second story We have a well right here and then back here we have my um, Honeybee area where you can have some tea with honey and those sugar cubes and cream So Let's see if we go to over to this side it leads to the clay to the pottery area so everything kind of connects to each other there's not really like a specific flow of the island um and then over here we don't really have anything but houses as well on this side um actually that's a lie because i have my rock garden that i have abandoned as you can probably tell and I was gonna make it a, <laughs> this is embarrassing because it's so bad right now, but I was gonna make it an enchanted forest and then it was snowing and I became uninspired and just let it overgrow. So yeah, that's the story of how I let my rock garden go. <laughs> um, back here, we have a like a seaside boardwalk, even though it's made of brick. Um, here we have a booth where you can get your uh, fortune told. And then we have a fortune cookie um, cart. I just realized fortune for both booths. <laughs> and then it leads to the private beach, secret beach, whatever you want to call it. I got a lot of inspiration for this from Pinterest, so I don't really have the name of the accounts, so I apologize. If I find it, I will put it in the description to give credit to whomever I got the inspiration from. Um, so let's go to this side of the, um, of the island. And over here, I have a pond with the fishing gear from the fishing tourney. And then over here, I have my flower shop. I have um, at least one flower of each color here uh, so that we can make arrangements. And I have that DIY table hidden over there as well as a counter. Then over here, we have like my national park area where I went crazy with the weeds and the terraforming, even though I am way too far to appreciate the terraforming that I made. Um, here is the entrance to that area, to like the forest national park area of my island. Um, we, here you can have a bonfire and make some marshmallows and it connects to the secret beach and then if you follow this path over here you go to the campsite and check out who is in there visiting for the day and let me see if I can show you guys um, the terraforming 
Oh, I don't think I can because I won't reach, but you kind of, you can kind of see there's a lot of like natural looking or natural forming shapes uh, in this area. Very organic, or at least I tried my best to make it look organic. Um, let me see if I can show you guys uh, the log, at least the log that I put there. Yeah, you can see that. So over there, if you have a ladder, you can go up there and sit and um, you can see everything a little bit better. But over here is the other pipe. Um, this is where the pipe leads, so the other end of the island. It is super convenient when doing the fishing tournament because I usually just go through the water, um, through the beach, uh, rather than ponds or my lake, uh, not my lake, my river. Um, and yeah, over here I have a coffee shop, an outdoor coffee shop where you can um, just grab a cup of coffee and then study for an exam or grab a book and read it relax just enjoy the outdoor seating area um i made it a little bit dark kind of academia sort of themed um me over here we have more scooters um i like to think that my villagers uh go around the island via scooter or bike <laughs> Then here we have a playground, which I made it thinking about Dizzy because I think he is the youngest uh, villager that I have. But over here we have another uh, seating area with a fountain and then here we have my house. So let's just go ahead and go in. Uh, my house, the first room, is a little bit of a mess because I started remodeling it to make it um, Super Mario Sunshine inspired and then I decided to stop and do the tour. So as you can see, this one is way better um, decorated and it's because it is still how it used to be um, and it matches the whole island vibe of just a town so it would be like a normal house and yeah that's my bathroom so let's go to my study area and then here we have my study area i have a desk and then i have my um zodiac item which is the scales because i'm a libra and i love this room a lot it is super cozy in my opinion so yeah let's keep going and let's go to my bedroom and here it is my bedroom it is um, blue and orange. I have Starry Night over there on the wall and my dog <laughs> and I really like this room. This was the very first room I decorated in the house. So I think I'm gonna keep it that way. <laughs> but let's go downstairs. And here I have my DIY room as well as my picture room. Um, here are the villagers that have given me their pictures and my collection of DIYs. <laughs> and let's go up. And then here is my dream room that is still under construction. I have the Hello Kitty stuff here. Um, and yeah, that is basically it. And let's go outside. And that was my house. Not a lot to see in there because um, there's like, what, three rooms that are still under construction or halfway through the remodel. So it was a little bit embarrassing, but I had to show you guys the rooms that were good. So yeah, let's check out the beachfront of my house. It is the only beach area that it's actually decorated and it's just a little seating area with the ukulele. 
I can just relax. You come here and relax with my friends whenever they come visit my island. And over here, I just have a bunch of random flowers. I didn't know what to do with that space, so I just put a bunch of flowers there. All my extra flowers that I didn't want on the beach. But yeah, that is basically my whole island. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Um, actually, let me show you guys the river walk. I don't think I really showed it, but it's just a straight river um, and then path or walkway on both sides with a couple of um, bridges. But yeah, that is, yeah, that was it. That was my island. Um, I know the flow of it is very weird and not everything is perfect but i just wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys before i um redid it anyways if you're still here with me thank you so so much for watching i make videos every single monday and friday monday being animal crossing videos and fridays being the sims if you want me to tour your island, make sure to fill out the Google Doc in the description below. I will be checking those out and reaching out to those who fill it out. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye!